Hi, I'm Ashley from Sunny Made, and we are on block five of our building block series. friends welcome back I'm glad you're here it's another week for a free block and I'm super excited about this one um, it's super easy we're just making some no waste flying geese and then I put it together a little differently so wait till the end and you can see how I made just I tweaked the pattern just slightly and it came out with a totally fun look so let's start with our block this week okay this is our block. You just need two colors and some background fabric. I will go over cut sizes here in a minute. And as you can see, we are just dealing with flying geese. Do you love it? I love it. Let's get started. Here, here are our starting pieces. So we're going to make two sets of flying geese. So I have two different fabrics. These are both seven and a half inches square. And then to make our no waste flying geese, we need four four inch squares per set of flying geese. So I actually have eight pieces to go which, with each of them. Okay, we are going to be using the no waste flying geese, geese method. That's a mouthful, isn't it? And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna start with our bigger square on the bottom. We are going to put our two background pieces diagonally on opposite corners and we're going to run a diagonal line down the center from corner to corner once we have drawn that line we are going to be sewing a quarter inch down each side of that line and we're going to do that with both of these we want to end up with four flying geese and with this no waste flying geese geese method we are going to end up with four that look exactly the same after i've sewn down each piece i'm going to cut right down on that line that i wrote and then i'm going to iron them open they're going to look like this they kind of look like hearts okay we're just folding these back ironing them open and you will have two that look just the same we're then going to put our next background square on each of them at this corner. Okay, I'm going to pin them into place just so that they don't move on me. And I'm going to sew down both sides of this line as well. We're going to cut them open, um, cut them on the line, and then iron them open. Okay, this is our piece. I've cut it open. When you have them all ironed open like this, you're gonna end up with four flying geese. So I have my four flying geese here and my four flying geese here. My next thing that we're going to do is we are going to trim these. These need to be three and a half inches square or um, three and a half inches tall by six and a half inches wide. I do have a video that goes into detail on how to trim flying geese. If you're interested, I will link that down in the description box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three and a quarter here in my point. I'm going to run that diagonal line right up the di diagonal of my flying geese and make sure that I have three and a half inches here and six and a half inches on each side. Now, without it moving, <laughs> I am going to to trim two sides and then flip it around line it up with my six and a half inch line on the left and my three and a half inch line on the bottom and trim the other two sides and I'm gonna do that with all oops miss missed that one I'm gonna do that with all of my flying geese now at this point we are going to make four units that look exactly 
the same. So let me get this one trimmed up and then I will show you what we are going to do next. Now, after we've trimmed these up, what we're going to do is we're going to put the red here in the middle and it's going to make this pinwheel. So the units that we're going to make is we're going to put the, the darker or whichever one you want to be the pinwheel in the center. Okay, so here's the first, whoops, pieces. So I'm going to put a red piece down here and a flag piece right here. And I'm going to make four of these units. Okay, here are our four pieces that we put together. And now it's time to put our block together. So we are going to make that pinwheel in the center of our block with the red or whatever color you are using. Okay, I'm going to sew these sides together, press them towards the red. I'm going to sew these sides together, press them towards the red. And then I'm going to sew that middle line, the top and bottom together, and press. And here is our finished block. It should measure uh, 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my square here. It is 12 and a half square on top of it. Um, six and a quarter, both horizontally and vertically, point in the middle. And I'm going to line up all those lines. And then I'm just going to give a slight trim. There shouldn't need to be much um, because we've trimmed them. We trimmed our flying geese down as we sewed them. But I'm just going to make sure that I don't have anything, oh, um, any weird lines, anything sticking over where it shouldn't be. And get that last trim done. Okay. And here we have our finished block. Okay, we have our block all done. How did yours turn out? Um, mine's pretty good. I'm not happy as much as I would have liked with my center. I could have done a little better with that center pinwheel. Um, but I didn't cut off any points on this one. So it's a win. It's a win. So let me show you how I did my other one. Um, what do you think? What I did was instead of making two colored fabric, I put a background fabric in the middle and put the color on the outside and it made this really cool chevron um, pattern that goes all the way around. So you have your pinwheel, you have a chevron, and you have a little bit of fun color all the way around the edges. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? I don't know. I like both of them. I kind of wish, thinking I might actually make a quilt that looks like this. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, okay. Questions? Leave them down in the comment section below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to find me over on Instagram, I am on Ashley underscore Sunnymade, and I will see you next week. Happy sewing.